Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Rouse. Um, the second half of the video didn't work, so I'm making a new one. So bear with me on this, um, and we'll, we'll get this through. So the next thing we're going to do on our dog house is we're going to actually build an open door. Um, and it's a, it's a really fun detail. None of these details are too hard. You just need to pay attention to follow along with me. I'm working on the lower part of the drawing. Um, you can see it's, um, it's all here. I just wanted to make it closer so you could see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do uh, first is we're going to make, like I said, this opening. We're going to center the opening. Now, this is all based on what you could do if you were not in perspective. If you were not in perspective, you could have something like this. And this might represent the front door. Let's say it's a square. They're for this whole side here, not in perspective. And if I had something like that, I can cross the two diagonals, and that tells me exactly where the middle is. Um, what's great is this works in perspective. If I not want to know where the middle of this side is, I can't measure it. Remember, measure, bad word. Oops, I up here. Measure. No, 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 no. Uh, anytime we go into perspective, we can't use that. So, um, you know, finding the middle that way, it doesn't work. The, really, the only way is to cross the two diagonals. So here we go. You need to do all these steps with me. I would do this a little bit on the light side. This isn't a permanent part of the drawing, but we're going to refer to it a few times. So first, lightly, very carefully, you want to get this right. The detail doesn't work unless you do these things right from now on. I'm going to make, I cross my two diagonals. This is the middle of that side um, in perspective. So that's, it's, you know, there's a little more room here because it's closer to us. Anyway, something else that kind of works is let's say I wanted to put a square within my square. Well, we know that all the corners of my square would also be on these diagonals. So once I got this going, I could just go across and down and so on. I can build something within here based on my diagonals. Well, I'm going to build a door based on this, except I'm going to let the two sides extend all the way down. So I'm going to use my diagonals here to tell me how to space this opening for my dog to come in and out. So first thing we're going to do is decide about how high we want our opening to be. And we're just going to draw a line between these two diagonals, but it has to go to the vanishing point. It's not just like any old place. To the vanishing point, this is the opening of the uh, top opening of the entrance to the doghouse, and I'm going to go across to the other diagonal line. It has to be towards the vanishing point. You can choose whichever side of your doghouse you want this to be on, but if perspective is a little bit hard for you, you probably want to choose the same side I'm using. So this is in perspective. This is centered over this side of the doghouse. Now I'm just going to take a vertical line and go straight down from those two corners. Here's a vertical line coming down here, all the way down to the bottom here, and another one from this location. Because this line went to the vanishing point, these two locations are lined up symmetrically. Symmetrically. Oh, that's a hard word. Just like it would be right here if I was looking right at it. So this is all in perspective now. And we've just made ourselves an opening to the doghouse. Now um, what I can do is I can, I'm going to lighten up my diagonals here. I don't want it very dark, but I do need to be able to see it. We're not probably not quite done using it. Okay, so we have an opening to the dock house. Now we're going to add a, a couple details that are actually pretty cool. I want you to erase this line at the bottom of the opening of the dock house, and then I want to um, draw from um, you know, going back towards this backside vanishing point, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little detail so as you look into the doghouse, you can see the thickness of the wall. So I'm just going to, and you won't be able to see it here because this is overlapping it. You will see it here. So let's draw in this corner right here. Put your pencil right on there. Anytime I get ahead of you, you need to stop the camera and um, catch up with me. By the way, you will not be able to do a good job of making this drawing if you don't follow the video. Uh, it's just not going to happen. So I have, this is going to show me how thick the wall is looking in the doghouse. And make another small line 
very very vertical I'm going up here from the bottom of my drawing um, using my angle on the edge of the paper and you see it's kind of a nice little detail so you look into the doghouse you can see that there's a thickness to the boards another really nice fun detail is that we can show where the floor is you can think about it for a second how do I know where to find the floor now on the back side of the doghouse remember how we did the crisscross thing to find the top it's going to be a crisscross to find the bottom same idea that, as we did on top uh, but it's not all going to show the only part that's going to show is right here inside the doorway so all we have to do is draw from this point to the back side vanishing point so this front corner right here the corner of the doghouse draw to the vanishing point on the left towards the back of the doghouse and here we have a nice little detail where we can actually look into the doghouse and see what's what's happening if there's like a dog party or something i can shade that a little bit if i want to i can add more shading later so kind of a nice little detail so from this corner to the vanishing point on the back i just drew the line on the inside this is a detail um you know just stop the video if you're not caught up with me this is a fun little detail fun to do uh, another thing we're going to do here on this video is we're going to add some boards to our doghouse. This is real fun. And to add boards to the doghouse, we can approach our doghouse. In one point perspective, you know, it looks sort of like this. Here's your vanishing point, and you would draw like this to the vanishing point, and so on. In a uh, two point perspective, um, you, you could get to the whole front side here in one point perspective and then you would have your perspective over here on the side um, what we're doing is we're taking advantage of the fact that this line here is it's just like this line in one point perspective it's on the front of the paper we can access the drawing through that line so we're actually going to take our ruler you'll see how this works and this vertical line vertical lines can be measured in, in only a two point perspective. So what we can do is we can, we're gonna take this front line here. I told you to make it four inches long. So we're gonna make a mark on this every half an inch along this front line on the front of the dock house. Every half an inch, make a spot, a mark. And then we're gonna what we're gonna do every half an inch so it should come out exactly because you made that four inches long and we can we can measure this vertical line here but now we're going to put it in perspective so all we have to do to get our boards on the doghouse is take these marks that are measured out and take them to the vanishing point so this is a really fun detail um, you want to measure that correctly with your ruler don't just estimate it's going to show up if you like you need these corner um, details. If you don't do them the right way, it's not going to look so great. And all I'm doing right now is I'm drawing from the mark towards the vanishing point. As I'm doing this, remember not to even think about that very bad word called parallel. These lines are not parallel their relationship is that they're going to the vanishing point so they're all of them are going to have a slightly different angle don't just start drawing lines because it's so-called parallel because in this drawing it's not it's going to the vanishing point see all the angles are going to change just a little bit so i'm drawing my boards along this side of the doghouse hopefully you're following along with me in your own drawings stop the video if you get behind and then it's kind of like those commercials on t TV where they're selling you something. So it's like, wait, there's more. We can add some boards on this side of the doghouse. All we have to do is take them to the other vanishing point. I'm not going to draw across where the opening is, though. I'm going to skip over the opening. So once I've made all those lines to that vanishing point, I'm now going to take them to the other vanishing point on the other side. Kind of a cool detail. So for requirements on this drawing, you have to put at least one set of lines in. Usually people put at least these two sets of lines in, um, but actually I'm gonna keep going 
for those of you who love perspective and you're curious, you can see we can just keep going and going and going. So required, I want you to do at least one side of this. Wait, there's more. Now we have another vertical line. Vertical lines can be measured. It's already set up. So I can take these right here and go back to this, um, go inside the doghouse with this detail and keep taking them. This is optional. And I can draw these lines showing up here. So um, it's, a, it's a, actually an easy detail to do. You have it all set up. You just have to put the lines in very specifically to the left side vanishing point. It's pretty fun, pretty fun stuff. Okay, but wait, there's more. It's optional, but if you wanted some lines to show here, you've already found your axis. You're gonna go, because it's inside there, it's not part of this part sticking out. It's in relation to these points here. So if I wanted to draw some lines on those boards, I'll take these marks out here. This is optional, but make sure you've taken the marks way over here to put these in. Sometimes they line up and it doesn't look right. So I'm only going to draw some of them just to kind of show you that, yes, you can do this. And then on your drawing, if for whatever reason they line up, just because of the location, the angle you've drawn, the original doghouse lines, um, if you don't like the way it looks, you don't have to put this in. Okay. Now we can't put them here because we don't have it measured. Uh, in this direction. In fact, the, the vertical lines going into perspective, it, it doesn't work the same way. It's a lot more difficult. It's just that we can do these types of lines. So some of you are probably like, oh, I want some lines on top of my doghouse. First of all, I want to say, don't put one of those peaked roofs on your doghouse. There's actually a really specific detail to that. Yeah, you know where the middle is and you could start it off, but finding this backside, there's a very specific thing we're going to do and we're going to learn that later. So please don't add uh, peaked or what's called a gabled roof at this point to the drawing. Um, if you did want to put some lines up here on the doghouse, I'm going to show you to do this. It's very much an extra thing, so bear with me a couple minutes on that. What you would do is actually decide which way you want those lines to go, towards this vanishing point or towards that vanishing point. And then we have what we have to do is we don't have this vertical line anymore, so we technically have to take that up to the front of our drawing and then back again. That sounds crazy, and it is. So let's say I want my, my lines to go that way. Uh, this is not part of my drawing. This is, this is just how you get it there if you love perspective. I have to decide about how far out I want my lines to be. Um, let's go an inch and a fourth. So along here, this is all extra credit. If you think this is a cool detail, you can add it. So you have to make some type of even measurements along this line we just made all extra credit only do this if it looks fun and that's actually number two and then what i do is i take these marks and then draw these across the top of the doghouse so what i had to do is i had to access the front of my drawing and that's how i found out how to um, put these boards up on a doghouse so you made them a little bit far apart so maybe if I had done it, I could do it again and maybe make it just an inch instead of an inch and a quarter. But that's how you get the boards on top. If you want the boards going the other way, just do it out the other direction and go that way. The next thing we're going to do on our dog house, this is something I do want you to do, is we're going to um, do an explosion. We're going to create something in front of the dog house. So let's say I wanted a garage or something else. When you come out from something in perspective, it's called exploding. We're gonna put a mat on the floor in front of the doghouse, so exploding. We're gonna make the mat, just because we can, the same size as this opening here. Pretty easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my um, pencil on my vanishing point at the back of the doghouse. I'm gonna refer it to the corners of the opening of the doghouse. And I'm going to explode out the front. I'm going to leave a little space because it looks better that way. Exploded, referring to that back vanishing point and the corner. So now I'm going to do the other corner. Guess I want everybody to try this. So I have the corner lined up with the vanishing point in the back side of the doghouse. And I brought out two lines from the doghouse. Now just to make my mat, all I have to do is 
square this off to the other vanishing point. And then there's a mat on the ground in perspective. If I wanted to add thickness to it, I could just add some little tiny vertical lines and square that off and I'd have thickness as well. You can make a couple more of those if you want, but let's say I just wanted one. I want to show you how to make um, words on things now that I have the mat. To put a word on top of this um, mat here, what I would do is, um, I have to refer to the vanishing points. So I'd probably build myself a little square here where I want the words to end up. I'm just crossing the diagonals like I did before to center this. And then I want it to be, let's see, I want it all to be in kind of a box right in the middle. So I'm using my diagonals, square this off, and taking it to the opposite vanishing points. And I'm just, I'm just putting a little kind of a rectangle thing in my mat to put the dog's name on. Just because I want, I want to center it, just because I can, and only when no longer can center. So then I have to decide what name I want my dog or my beast to have. Let's say its name is, um, oh dear, I think I'll just put my own name there. Its name's going to be K. <laughs> so I have to put the letters K-A-Y, but the letters are going to refer to the two vanishing points. So I have, I'm going to space this in the three. If it was an even number, of, I could break it up like this. I could cross this again and actually find where they go. But I chose an odd numbered name. So I'm going to, I'm just going to estimate on this. So the middle of the A is going to be here. And so the K is going to be right about here. No, that's way too small. And then like here, okay, and then A is going to be about here, and then I can just sketch it in. And if I have what used to be like a horizontal line, like in the A, it'll refer up here to the vanishing point over here. And then the Y is going to be like this, and then referring back to this vanishing point. So if you wanted to put a name on the mat, Build yourself a rectangle wherever you want it to be, and then you can draw it in referring to the two vanishing points. If you wanted a name up here, then you're going to um, continue. I'm just going to make it the same size as the opening, and I'm going to put two vertical lines up above the opening. I'm going to square them off to the vanishing point and let's say I have an even number name this time so let's say I'm trying to think of um, do 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 uh, what's an even number name so my um, grand doggy is named honey which is odd so I'm going to add a B there because her name's actually honey bear so just so I can show you even ones are easier to work with I can find the middle here I can divide that up. Anyway, you can put as much time into this as you want. I'm just kind of finding the additional middles here. And where I would have all the other ones. So honey bear. So H-O-N. So this is where the O is going to be. And these are very vertical letters. H-O-N. And then E Y and B, and then the, in the middle of these letters, if there is a line, it's going to the right side vanishing point. So if I'm putting in the word honey bear, the E's, the two parts of the E in the middle of the H, are all going to this right side vanishing point. And the rest of it, you just sketch in after you've kind of spaced it out. This would go over here too. So honeybee. Um, I forgot the why. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they would definitely get smaller as they go further and further back. Anyway, that's kind of how you would do letters. And um, my drawing's getting pretty dark, so I'd probably erase out things you don't want as we go through this.
There's another fun detail I used to like to put in this drawing uh, right here. Let's say your dog doesn't likes a little privacy now and then, or you want the door a little lower. Um, you can lower this line anytime you want. I'm just going to put like a little blind in my dog so he can um, open and shut his blinds um, in this doghouse. So let's say you want a really tall doghouse, but it's only for a Dotson or something. You could you could lower the this line anywhere you want. It can be anywhere you want. So I put a little line in there. Maybe has a little something on the blind. So at this point on our doghouse, um, I want you to do some things to kind of explore some different details. For instance, uh, you can make it into a log doghouse, and then you would have to do some rounding of some things. And actually, you'd be sketching logs in here. And I'll show you an example of one. If you wanted to put some, just want it made out of boards, this is kind of a fun um, detail. Draw every other one here on the corner. Then you can show how there's little nails nailing it together, something like that. If you want to do a brick doghouse um, here on the side, every other one. It's kind of up to you. I mean, we don't see brick dog houses all the time, but maybe where they have cold weather and they have brick dog houses. Do people even have dog houses anymore? I don't know. That's a fun little building to draw. Anyway, so going every other one, you can make bricks or something like that. Um, also, you know, you can draw your animal here and so on. I was going to show you some samples of some um, other drawings uh, that you could work on. Uh, so right now, all we're worried about is drawing what's at the bottom of here. We are going to add a mailbox. We are going to add a birdhouse at the top. So I'm just going to show you some ideas. If you want an A on this project, don't stop with just the things I had you do, which were the house, uh, the lines on one side, you know, and the mat here. You also need to add some lettering and some details and things. Don't just stop if you want to get a good grade on this project. So some other things that I have drawn in the past um, is I put in the letters here. You can draw some animals. I made a funny little thing here. You could put a window in. That's pretty easy. It's just a lot like putting this in. So and then I have kind of like half of this and half of that. So that's a lower part of my drawing. I was just showing some students what to do here. Instead of making a um, another mat, I made a mat that <laughs> like a hole in the ground. And you can figure out how to do these things. It's really fun. And so this is just drawing. You can do some freehand drawing if you don't like perspective or add some shading. There is going to be a couple posts coming down later on. Um, but add some, add some fun things to your drawing. Um, on the back here, somebody had put a fence in their drawing. That's pretty cool. Um, let me show you some other things that have some students have put in. There's somebody put some stairs going down. It's not quite perfectly in perspective, but you get the idea. And it's really fun. Uh, this person spent a lot of time um, actually doing a really nice job drawing the logs on the log house. That looks great. Another student, um, there's some more on the upper part, but you can see they made the window and another mat. They made a road and they um, put a dog in there. By the way, if you want a sidewalk, you just take it to the vanishing point. The sidewalk has to go to the vanishing point. And let's say you want them to live on a corner, just uh, take that same, um, wherever that corner is. Let's see, I, I think I like it better here. Just take it to the two vanishing points. Now your dog, lives, your dog house is on the corner. Other things. Here's if you want, I told you before, you don't always have to make your details in perspective. Here's kind of a simple drawing, and they just added a lot of fun stuff for them that's just freehand drawing. Your details don't have to be in perspective. I do know perspective details take longer, so I will know if you spend a whole bunch of time doing something, I know it takes longer. And I don't appreciate that. Let's see if I can try to That might be the most of This one just has a whole bunch of weird animals. I don't know if I showed you that one. You can just have fun drawing some fun stuff. So that's the end of the doghouse part. And then uh, next time you have class, we're going to work on your mailbox and our birdhouse. We're going to put it on the same drawing. So don't forget to bring this drawing with you to class next time you come to class. 
Okay, uh, thank you. Keep drawing. If you want to get an A, you have to keep drawing anywhere on the bottom of your drawing. Thank you.